This might be the best tactic in the NFL. It helps offenses to be elite. For instance, the three teams that used it the most this year were the Dolphins, 49ers, and the Chiefs. What is this tactic, you might ask? Well, it's simple. The motion. For as long as football has been around, this unsung game changer has been there to disrupt coverage, block key defenders, and scheme receivers open. In today's Smart Sports video, we will review plays to learn just how the motion affects the game of football. Stop. Before we get into this video, I just want to thank our sponsor. Just kidding, we don't have one. Our sponsor is the subscribe button because we are broke. NFL film is expensive. So if you could please consider subscribing, it would help our channel a lot and mean the world to us. Thank you and enjoy your video. So here's a really good example of the Packers using a motion well. So what's going to happen is the Lions are sitting in one of their favorite defenses. They love the cover one. Here they're sitting in it. You're going to have everyone on someone. They all have a man. So pretty simple defense. It should usually work provided the corners do their parts. This is when the Packers don't really have receivers. So the Packers, seeing this, know they need to scheme someone open. So what they're going to do is they're going to send Alan Lazard on a motion up here. And that's going to switch up the coverage because now, like this corner, he's going to now be on Christian Watson, which leaves this guy on Aaron Jones this and now over here they're gonna have to switch it up this guy instead of being on Aaron Jones is now on the tight end Mercedes Lewis and this corner of course is gonna be on Alan Lazard now so it changes things up so now you have to switch but you still have to watch for the run so you gotta watch quickly and what's just gonna happen is if we look here Watch this man right here. He just isn't prepared for Mercedes Lewis. Mercedes Lewis quickly cuts inside at this point. He's just gone, gets the inside leverage. Rogers sees it, rolls out, throws a perfect throw, and the Packers get first and goal because of this. So here we have another good example of the motion being used in the passing offense. So... This time, its main purpose is to create confusion. So the Dolphins, they're an explosive offense. They motion a lot. And against the 49ers here, they're going to send Tyree Kill. He's going to motion down and just come right back. Let me redraw that. That was awful. This is why I'm a YouTuber, not an artist. Okay, but Tyree Kill is going to motion down, and then he's going to come back. So what this is going to do is this is going to confuse the defense. So then Tyree Kill is going to run up down the field while his teammate Jalen Waddle is going to run over the mill. Now, the two people that are supposed to be guarding them, Tretavius Ward and Talon Hufunga, are going to get crossed up with all these motions. Their assignments are going to get messed up because the motion switches, and they're both going to end up locking on to Tyree Kill and his motion. So, if they're both coming over here, Fred Warner, he's in the middle. He's not going to be able to get there in time. So Jalen Waddle is going to be open, and that's exactly what ends up happening on this play. Look, they motion Tyree Kill. He's going to come back. They're both going to lock on him. Waddle's going to be open, and then Jalen Waddle does Jalen Waddle things. He's going to run it all the way back for a touchdown. The power of the motion. Now, while motions certainly are key for scheming receivers open, they also help with the run game of it, too. Here, we see the Dolphins. And what the Dolphins, they motion the most in the league. What they're going to do is they're going to mo motion Mike Gesicki over to the left. Now, while this doesn't look like a big change, what's going to happen is this middle linebacker, who was originally about here, is going to end up motioning over here to meet it. And... By doing this, this allows the left guard to be able to run at and get him, while meanwhile, Gasicki can cut back over to the middle and lead block the other linebacker, essentially clearing up the entire middle. And all they had to do, the only thing they had to do to clear this up 
was motion the tight end over to the left. And just by doing this, they go from like a three or four yard run to a 12 yard run. Let's take a look. And look, the left guard's going to be able to just run up. Gasicki runs up. Easy first down. Raheem Mostert, very benefited by the motion. So how do you stop the motion? The Buffalo Bills did a pretty good job of this in their game against the Dolphins. The Dolphins here, they mo the Dolphins motion a lot. So the Bills, they're going to sit in zone for most of the game. So... Right here, the Dolphins have a third and very long. This is the first down line, so they need to go a long way. So the Bills, rather than be worried about motions, worry about coverage messing up, they're just going to sit in cover seven. They're going to have seven guys. All of them are going to be covering deep zones, just making sure nothing funny can happen. Why? Because there's going to be a player in the zone. So... That's what's going to happen, actually. Tyree Kill over here is going to motion over, then run a little crosser. But it doesn't matter because whoever sees him is just going to pick him up. And then over here, Mike Gusecki, meanwhile, is going to run kind of an out-go. And Tredavious White, rather than being locked into Tyree Kill, is just going to see him in his own, so he's going to pick him up. So the motions just won't confuse. Let's take a look. Look, they motion Hill. Tredavious White stays in his zone, gets Mike Gusecki. They throw short to Hill, and then there's just a bunch of players in their zone, so they stop him short. So that's how you stop the motion. So as we've seen, the motion is a very powerful weapon in both the run and pass game. It can open receivers. It can arrange good blocking. So it's definitely a sign that a coach is experienced. We've seen that the best way to stop it is to communicate, to stick in zone, to know what you're doing. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's video on smart sports. Feel free to drop a like in the comments and let me know what you think the most useful tactic in the NFL is. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.